Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered data types and how to create an array with a specified data type. So today we are going to cover the as type method. So let's get started. So we know how to create an array with a specified data type. Now the question arises, how to convert data type on existing arrays? The answer is the best way to change the data type of an existing array is to make a copy of the array with the as type method. The as type method returns a new data frame where the data types has been changed to a specified data type. Or in simpler words, we can say that as type function creates a copy of the array and allows you to specify the data type as the parameter. Please note that we can specify the data type using short notations like i for integer, f for float, or by using the data types directly like int for integer, float for float, etc. Now let's see an example. So let's change the data type from float to integer by using i parameter value. So let me just write Python 3, hit enter. I'm going to import numpy as np. Now I'm going to create an array. So I'm going to write np.array and I'm going to pass a list. So this is a list of float, floating point numbers. So it gave me an error because I made a mistake. I need to insert a comma. So let me hit enter. I've created an array. Now let me use the as type method to create a new array. So new or new array name is equal to arr dot as type and in bracket, I'm going to specify the data type. So it's I here and new array has been created. Now let's display. So I'm going to write print ARR. Hit enter. So this was our original array. Let's display the data type of the existing array or the old array. It's showing float 64. Now let's print the new array and print the data type of the new array. So I'm going to write print new dot D type. So it's showing in 32. Now let's move on to next example. Change data type from float to integer by using int parameter value. So last time we use I, this time we are going to use int. So I'm going to write Python three and hit enter. I'm going to import numpy. I'm going to import numpy as np. Now I'm going to create an array. So arr or array name is equal to np.array and I'm going to pass a list to it, a list of floating point numbers. I made a mistake. I need to go back to rectify it and I have to add brackets. So I passed the list and I have created an array. Now let's create a new array using as type method. So new equal to array name dot as type and I'm going to specify the data type as int. Last time we used I in commas. So I'm going to print array and I'm going to print the data type of original array. So it's float 64 and I'm going to print the new array and its data type. So the result is 
int 64. Let's move on to another example. Change data type from integer to boolean. Now, if the data is or the data element is zero, it will return false. And if it is greater than zero, it will return one or true. So I'm going to import numpy again as np. And hit enter. Now I'm going to create an array of integers. So I'm going to write np.array and I'm going to pass a list to it. And don't forget to add brackets. So now I'm going to hit enter. Array has been created. Now let's print the array and print its data type. So it's int 64. Now let me print. No, sorry. Now let me create a new array using as type method. So new equal to arf dot as type. And in type, I'm going to specify boolean. So it's bool or b -O l for boolean. So the new array is true, false, true, false, true. These are boolean values. So I'm going to print the data type of the new array as well. So it is B -O, o L or boolean. So in today's lecture, we covered the use of as type method and we looked at some example. That's all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates. And please stay tuned with us with more lectures on this series. Thank you and have a nice day.